Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and you're watching this job video. Today I created this energy core effect in UE5 Niagara. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe it. If you like this video, like, share and comment and let's start this tutorial. First of all, subscribe my YouTube channel and also click on bell icon so you will receive all new video notification. So I found I have found this reference on Artstation. I'll put the link in, des in my description. Energy goal. This looks really cool, and there might be a different way to create this. I don't know how he created, but I'm thinking to just use a using a cylindrical thing. Uh, like this a mesh then I can use a, a material custom material with uh, world question offset but I guess you can also use ribbons here but that will I will for figure out maybe some other day but for now I will use a mesh so we need a um, sphere and this one single string that we can create in my so let's uh, create that mesh that tube so like you have a sphere okay uh, and now you want a tube around it so you have the slender i will decrease the radius right here maybe point one point zero two yeah that's that's much and then i need also height segments so many height segments and you can delete top and bottom if you want the caps okay now you can also use a deformer to initially band it then you can modify it manually so if i take a band and use this curvature so we have now this half band thing and then i can delete the history and use that mesh here on the surface of mesh let me touch it here here okay and then i will manually like with smooth selection we can add in this like this slightly here or here that's it and the pivot should be center of the grid so d and x and here so if you will rotate it now it will be on the surface of a sphere anyway so you got this okay so i will delete the uh, i will freeze this and then i will export this tube desktop tube okay and then in here unreal engine i will import that tube from the desktop it, it has this lambert material so i will use that m tube now open this m tube and i will preview that mesh here and just turn off your Post and yeah, so you got this tube here. Okay, so if you uh, use a uh, use a mask here, like if I'm taking one more thing, I forgot to do. Select this and in the UVs, normalize this. So select all and normalize so it will fix uh, fix uh, fill in the box and i will export this again and then i will re-import this mesh okay so now if i preview this with the green you have a gradient okay and if i take the sign and they make the value 2 you will have gradient from both sides right and now we can take a power and increase the value so the white part will be like a strip like this tool 
and then we can multiply that thing with the vertex normal and then again multiply it to increase the strength of it and connect it here so if i connect this here the white part should be like uh, more uh, thick like this so you can see but the value is too high we can use maybe 0.2 yeah so we will adjust that value in unreal engine but we got the thing so this is getting fatty but there is also a fernail and a color here so what we can do we can use the particle color and also a fernail so not this one i like fernail function so if i preview that i will have these edge as you can see and i want these edge only visible here where i have that mask so my fernail will only work here okay and i guess i need to increase the power maybe two maybe two yeah so basically i want the fernail more bright and the core uh, less bright so i will multiply it with a dynamic parameter and i will call that Retinal value okay and that mask is multiplying with the particle color so that will take the particle color and then this fernail also should take particle color and then it should add over my existing mask this will go here cool and the next thing this is wpo strength w and the next thing this mask should animate from one corner to other corner and this uh, power also should have a parameter so this is my power and the default value let me set the default value maybe 10 for now and i want to maybe 20 i want to animate this so we can add offset here so if this is one you can see there is no uh, white thing if it's 0.5 that thing will be here and zero means that is in the center so this is my offset that's it we are ready to go and now uh, let's create our fx fx First, I want a sphere, so let's create this sphere and like a sphere blur mesh sphere. And I don't need all these things for now. And just one particle spawn at once and leave forever. So we have this sphere. We will work on the material of this sphere later and yeah so next is copy and paste this this is your tubes and in the tubes i will use that mesh and then this material all right material and if i preview only tube that is very tiny so let me make the size maybe 10 time bigger and let me make the dynamic parameter for default value. So I want Fresnel value 1, WPO I don't want for now. This thing I want 10 and offset I want 0. So let me see if it is visible. So we have this tube and this is very tiny. So let's make it like 100 times bigger. And if I'll check it with the sphere now, it is too big. So let me decrease the size. It should touch the sphere. Cool. So now we can use the color maybe red. And now in the dynamic parameter, uh, we can increase the fernail strength. And now we can increase the WPO like this. And we can animate offset from zero, no, from uh, one to minus one. So if you see, at minus one, it is gone. 
and then at one it is also gone so curve from minus one to one so if i play this is going like this okay and then life should not be infinite it should like a scale down i guess or you can just uh, use a sign here so if your life is infinite instead of this uh, curve you can use a sign that will go up and down so i will use the value it is one so that means going from minus one to one and you can increase the time maybe two or maybe three cool and now you can use the loss of particle maybe you have 10 particle and then initial orientation and it is random by default and you can see the thing is happening so this is random thing okay and the, the speed i will use random from two to four like this tool and then you can duplicate this copy and paste and just change the color to blue And you have random values and the next thing i will use is i will create uh, let me check the reference it's too fast and too fatty becoming too fatty and one more thing in the tubes that we have this power so if this like five you can see the size of that red part is increased so you can randomize it also maybe three to ten and I'll copy this for my blue, for my blue. Everything is random now. And now let's create a material for a sphere. And that sphere is uh, a blue. So let me save all and make M sphere. And I just need a female and this thing and particle color and this will go here actually this will multiply with this so it will be like this and i want where my my tubes interacting intersecting with the sphere they should be like some edge what we can do uh, let's make this translucent and unlit and then i will take the depth fade and use this maybe 10 or 20 let's use 10 for now and invert this and add it over your funnel so how this will work if you have like your ground it's not interacting with that it will be so something you will interact with is they will be like ads so now you need to apply that material in your sphere and also make this blue so you can see where my uh, tubes interacting with that this thing there I'll make that little more blue and then and this whole thing is rotating so I'll take the update mesh orientation and instead of mesh I will use the world and on the z axis and maybe point one and same I'll copy paste here. So this looks very uh, you know dynamic very fast so we can increase the the offset here make it 0.5 and 1 or maybe 2 and also in this 0.5 and 2 and then we can turn on our cost 
from more brightness. Cool. And the background may be a little lighter or that much dark. And in this sphere, if I use the jitter, that will move it very quickly, but we can use a very low value. And because of jitter, it will keep moving, it will go away from the center. So you can use the spring also and tell them, tell it to come back to the initial position and low value. So it's moving, but it will try to come back to the original position. And I will use like five. So I think that's it. It looks nice. One more thing, there's some white particles moving on that. You can that create that very quickly. So I'll use a fountain. Particles on sphere. And I don't need all these things. And we need a sphere, maybe 10 or maybe 50. And I want only surface. So if I preview that, we have this. And I want just a spawn once. And then maybe 20 particles. And then sphere location, this. And life is infinite. And then here I will use custom alignment, custom. Uh, facing back then oops sorry and then here you need to take a line to the match orientation and then take update and use in the update orient to position these will all orient to the normal surface sphere then you can use the vortex you can randomize this value maybe to in red minus two in red and also the axis maybe 500 even more 2000 so there will be some i need to increase the sphere size maybe 100 so 80 60 55 50 and let's make this one and then 55, 50, yeah. Particles moving on that sphere. And it's still, I think 55 is size too high. 50, so 45, yeah. That's better. So now, this is not the exactly same, it looks really cool. And because of, it has the random shapes. You can also do that here. Uh, so in the tubes, in the size, the mass uh, size is 45 let me make it random 42 maybe 60 or maybe yeah but when you are making it 60 uh, the size the the center point is moving so you can make it like 40 50 and 30 and also in this one 30 and 50 And also spawn rate, you can increase maybe 20. So that's it. That's the final output. Thanks for watching. Keep learning and bye-bye.